a lot of things. And, uh, and this is a positive step into, uh, from human consciousness. We've been here for 13,000 years, and we're about to leave. And so um, I'll keep saying it. It's not a time of fear. It's a time of celebration. So many of these questions are around the material world. Uh, uh, Grintomi, which is out of Hungary, says, uh, it doesn't make any sense to go ahead in the material world. I think this is a very important question. Uh, we have a responsibility to life, to all life everywhere, to God that lives within us, to uh, do the very best we can in life. And every minute, every second, every nanosecond that we're alive uh, gives us the opportunity to come closer to unity and to oneness and, uh, and to uh, understand and live uh, the unity of life. And so, uh, yes, it does. We continue to pay our bills. We continue to do everything just as though uh, nothing was going on on those kind of levels uh, so that we can um, uh, continue with our lives so that ever, as much time as possible, the, time, the amount of time that God has allotted us is lived fully and completely and in that last breath that we take, whether we die normally and has nothing to do with this or this triggers that for us, uh, we, are, we will be prepared. Uh, again, it's all about believing in yourself and trusting in yourself and knowing the unity of all life everywhere. Uh, yes, this is a big step in, in uh, the unfoldment of human consciousness if the Mayans are correct and Edgar Cayce is correct and the scientists of the world are correct. But uh, it's, it, it is, it's easy. You can do this. We can all do this. Uh, but it is, the reason I'm here, though, is just to get you aware that something huge is happening on Earth. It's not uh, life is business as usual. It is, it's a big thing. And we need to prepare inwardly. I said this uh, just a little while ago. We need to prepare inwardly. Um, it doesn't mean you go out and you quit your job and you stop everything. It means that, you, that in your inner life, uh, perhaps television is not the most important thing right now, even though that's what you're watching. Uh, that, uh, that a deep inner study of who you are who you truly are and what life is really about, that now is the time to begin to search in a very deep way, uh, not, to, uh, not to just forget it. But if that's your journey, okay, that's perfect too. Because right now, like I said, every last person is going to find their way through all of this. But you do have a responsibility to life everywhere. <laughs> Well, so many of these questions are the same thing over and over in different ways. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, this one is uh, Maria. I'm not even sure what country she's from, but she's talking about, well, should we build strawberry houses or get rid of our car or live off the grid? Uh, well, all these things might be good for the earth, uh, but uh, again, it comes back to uh, an inner change is what we're about to get into. Uh, meditation is the key, going within, understanding, remembering who you really are, and, uh, and trusting in yourself. Um, well, this person uh, is asking about the Waitaha prophecy out of New Zealand. Um, I'm sorry, I can't talk about that right now. Uh, I have uh, uh, given my my word to the Waitaha that I would not do this publicly. But the Waitaha prophecy is very, very similar. Uh, I, can, I can skirt around it a little bit. Uh, they say that next month, beginning uh, in the next month, is a, an enormous shift in energy, uh, so enormous that uh, most people would never believe it. Uh, whether it happens, we'll have to wait till next month to find out. But the Waitaha are very old. Uh, where, where the Maya and the Hopi and the Kogi and the Arawakos and the Kanguamos and the Wiwas are from Atlantis, uh, the Waitaha are from Lemuria, which is 
prior to Atlantis and a lot, a lot older. And the Waitaha are uh, 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 a, a, a very important part of the ancient world uh, connecting with the modern world, which is exactly what they are doing. Uh, they are uh, asking us to come in there with over 100 people to, to begin to do ceremony that they also haven't done uh, in thousands and thousands of years. And they are also preparing in a sacred spiritual way, in the inner way, uh, for the changes that they know are about to happen, which is very similar to what, uh, what we have just been talking about through the Maya, except they are very, very specific and we'll just have to see. Uh, if they give me permission to talk about their, their prophecies, uh, then I will do that. But until I get permission, I can't do it. Uh, uh, this is one from Tan from Malaysia, who says, here's my question. On December 21st, 2012, I'm getting a lot of collaboration evidence of something happening at that specific point as referenced by the Yi Ching reaching zero from Terence McKenna and the looking glass technology and operability from David Wilcox. Uh, this is the precise date. What does the Mayans say about this time according to them, if indeed the change does happen from this date? Well, I, he might have sent this in before listening to the whole broadcast. I'm not sure. But... Uh, uh, yes, that date is precise. Uh, December 21st is exactly when the cycles line up and all these things uh, happen. Uh, that can be seen even from the NASA uh, understanding of all of these of the calendars and the, and everything. Uh, again, it's not just the indigenous people; it's science also can see that this is a very incredibly precise moment in time. But uh, uh, the Mayans, again, I'll reiterate, re reiterate they are saying that, this, uh, uh, that it is not, even though the cycles end exactly at that time, and the Yi Ching does uh, come to zero except at that time, uh, that uh, the actual change in consciousness and the movement of events uh, that begin with the magnetic poles and the, and the, and the physical poles shifting, uh, it, is the, it, it is the consciousness change that occurs directly after that or during that, possibly, uh, that this is what is important. Uh, and, and exactly how that happens, uh, I don't know, and neither do the Mayans, evidently. Don Alejandro, Don Alejandro was very clear about this. Uh, he said that uh, they cannot predict at this point uh, the precise moment uh, when this uh, huge uh, uh, change will occur, but th that it is more than likely not going to occur on December 21st, 2012. It'll happen sometime in the window between 2007 and 2015. Somewhere in there uh, is when this will occur. So it may come 2000, uh, tw December 21st, 2012, nothing happens because it might happen afterwards, according to the Maya. It could happen as late as three years afterwards. Uh, but they are convinced, the Waitaha are convinced, uh, the aboriginals in Australia, uh, the Zulu in Africa, uh, the Hopi and tribes all over the world that I'm familiar with, they are all convinced that this is going to happen. We are, have reached the end of this cycle, and we are going to move up into a new level of consciousness. This is a great thing. Uh, we should be celebrating. And, uh, uh. But I don't have a name on this one. And I don't even know where it's coming from. Uh, it just says, uh, Dear Drimvalo, all enlightened beings have said that truth is beyond these transient things, to move beyond the dual world and oneness, that ceremony, ritual, sacrifice, phenomena, siddhas, crystals, etc., however fascinating, are not it. Yes, I understand that. And that has been um, uh, a problem uh, through